So welcome everyone to your next 30 minute challenge. We're almost to the middle of the challenge here and we'll find yourselves now in an easy warm up pace for the first couple minutes, 90 to 105 RPM in and around your 30%, three out of 10, 80 to 110 watts. And then we'll move up once you've got your heat built in your legs. So I just wanted to say right off the top, I'm Colleen, Coach Colleen. I'm a triathlon specialist, road specialist, a wannabe mountain biker, and soon to be gravel rider. Our prize today is the biggest draw prize of the 30 days. We've got an entry to the Tour de Victoria, any distance. So whether you want to do the shorter, I think it's 50 or 60K, or go right on up to the 160K, that entry is yours. So we're just over a minute in. Start moving the watts up a little bit, finding four out of 10. Everyone should be over 100 watts now, or in and around 100 to 130. Still keeping that cadence nice and high. We're doing short, hard hills. And as we talked about the last time we did short, hard hills, we're looking at a ratio of one effort to about one and a half recovery here for the entire two sets today. The difference between this week and last week is we are doing these efforts at your maximum aerobic power. For those of you who haven't tested with us, that's gonna be a number that is the hardest wattage output you could hold for at least two minutes at 90 plus RPM. So it might be like a nine and a half out of 10, if you're judging it that way. Let's move the wattage up here again to about your 50%. Keeping your legs turning over 90. Starting to feel a little bit of pressure. We're setting up for these sets. And in two minutes, actually let's go in 15 seconds, let's begin a little cadence build. Just a little bit. So from where you are now at about 50%, 90 to 100 RPM, let's bring up your RPM by about 10. Don't touch your gear. That should be bringing your gear up over your 60% most likely. Just stay here for a couple seconds and back down those 10 RPMs, back to your 50%. Make sure you're nice and relaxed in your upper body. We tend to tense up when we start getting into high output efforts. Let's bring that RPM up 15, building right up. which will bring your watts up probably over 60 to 70%. Hold on. Just wanting to feel a little pressure here. And back down to your 50% and your starting RPM. We're gonna begin our first set in about a minute and a half. So we're doing five times through, 45 seconds at your maximum aerobic power, your MAP, at your preferred cadence. Let's try and keep that over 90. And then our break is a minute 15, easy. So back down to that 30% range at 90 plus RPM. We're gonna go in just over a minute. 
Let's bring those RPMs up right now. Another 10 RPMs again. Just building a little more pressure here. And back down to your 50%. So we're gonna get ready to go here in about 40 seconds. I'm gonna get you to bring some gear in. Think about your preferred cadence choice here. You have time to play around with that over the intervals. If you wanna be at 90 plus, you might find at some point you wanna increase that RPM and reduce your gear a bit, but that's up to you to play with. We're going in 15 seconds. Let's start bringing in some gear. We're going right up to your MAP. In five, three, two, one. Up, up. Come on, find it fast and hold. Don't overshoot. We've got 10 of these to do. That's it. Halfway through. Come on. Hold that gear. Keep steady. Five, three, two, one. Back it off. Right down to that warm up pace 30%. Nice high cadence. We have a minute 15 here to recover. I want everyone down in that three out of 10. When we're doing these really high wattage outputs, the recovery is easy. When we're in the 80, 85% range, we can recover a bit higher. But for MAP, we're coming right off. Another 30 seconds before we go for number two. Don't forget to drink. We're learning how to suffer. Very important skill. 15 seconds. You can start bringing in some gear. We're on in five, three, Two, one. Up, up. Get on top of that gear. Find that MAP. We're 10 seconds in. You should be there. Hang on. Push, push, push. Make sure you're completing that full circle pedal stroke. Pulling out the back, pulling across the bottom. Looking forward. You got this. 10 more seconds. And three, two, one. Back it off. Number two. Back to easy. Try and keep that leg speed up over 100 if you can. It's a great recovery cadence. Give your arms a little wiggle. Check your core, drawing that belly button in and up, not just back. You may even feel a slight release in your lower back when you do that. 30 more seconds. Don't forget to hydrate. You've got some time. That's two down. Three to go in this first set. This might be a favorite of some of you. I know a few of you in this group. 
Okay, we're on in five seconds. Bringing in your gear. In three, two, one. MAP, up, up. And stand to get on top if you need to. Let's get there and stay. You should know where that gear is by now. 20 seconds in. Come on. Hang on. Look forward. Relax those elbows. Come on, right through. Three, two, one, and back it off. Right back to that easy recovery, as fast as you can. Try and slow down your breathing a bit. Really maximize this recovery. The better we can recover, the better we can do on those MAP intervals. Still have 40 seconds. Again, posture check. Subtle little things that can make a big difference to your power. We're back on in 15 seconds for number four. And start bringing some gear in. We're on in five seconds. In three, two, one. Up, up. Let's go. MAP, nine and a half out of 10. 90 plus RPM. You got this. Hold on. Getting stronger. This might feel better than the first time through. 10 more seconds. In three, two, one. Back it off to easy. Come on, let's get on top of that recovery. Control your breathing. Nice work. One more to go. Time flies when you're having fun. And then we get a nice longer, easy recovery in between, and we'll repeat the set. 30 more seconds. Try standing to get on top of the gear, if you like, at the beginning. Ramp it up a little bit faster, maybe. Thinking about application. We're on in 10 seconds. Start bringing in some gear. You get a nice long rest after this. We're on in two, one. Up, up. Find that MAP. 90 plus RPM. Your preferred cadence. Find it and hold. You can do this. You can do anything for another 20 seconds. Remember to breathe. Come on, stay with it. Don't let those legs fall off. In three. Two, one, back it off. We have three minutes here for a full recovery. 
Nice work. Catch your breath. Grab some hydration. Still have two and a half minutes to go before we repeat this set. What you'll find doing a workout like this, you are gonna be spending a lot more time at your MAP than you perhaps would in a normal workout. So this is giving you the opportunity to work on that really high end of your output. 45 seconds, 10 times is quite a lot of time. When you're doing your MAP testing with us, which we highly recommend everyone come in and do, if you haven't done it once or not in a long time, that will let you know exactly what that number should be for you. And every person is different and there's a lot of factors that go into play. But what these short hard efforts are gonna do is help us improve that top end watt output. And we can use these little bursts throughout our riding, no matter what kind of riding you're doing. All the disciplines have opportunities to require a sprint, a quick little punch. So that's what we're working on today. We're gonna go again in just over a minute. It's been a nice long recovery. Legs should be feeling pretty good. Most of you have been riding now for several days in a row, often longer than the 30 minutes. So you're like real tour riders where you just have to get up, put on a clean kit, either go downstairs or somewhere in your house or out on your bike, and you put in your training time, life on a bike. Okay, we're going again in just under 30 seconds. Start bringing in a little gear right now, up towards your 50%. We're on now in just over 10 seconds for the start of the second set. In five seconds, we're at MAP, preferred cadence, over 90. Two, one, up, up. Let's find that gear. Just when your legs thought they were resting, they're back on. Come on. Push it through. Keep those circles turning smoothly. Right through the bottom of that pedal stroke. Come on. Just over five seconds. Three, two, one. Back it off. Minute 15. Nice and easy. Find that fast. So this is what can happen in a real life cycling situation. You've had some hard pushes, then some easy, and then suddenly you have to push again. So after three minutes easy, that first 45 is pretty challenging. We're waking them up again. Again, this is a learned neuromuscular skill for your body and your brain. 30 seconds, so we're on for number two. Everyone's looking nice and smooth. We're remembering our core. We're remembering to stay loose. We're on in 10 seconds. 
Finding some gear. Finding some gear. In three, two, one. Up, up. MAP, 45 seconds. Your preferred cadence. Don't overshoot that yet. I'll give you a chance in the last couple. You want to be able to stay at least at that MAP for the entire 45. 20 seconds to go. Keep going. Nice and smooth. Don't let it fall off. In three, two, one. Back it off. Three more to go. If you find now that you are managing that MAP for the full 45 seconds, piece of cake, move it up a little bit. Remembering you've got three more to go and you want to end strong. We are burning our matches, but we definitely need one left for the last. 45 seconds. We're almost there. Tough group. Hard pulls. Big efforts. Everyone's looking great. We're on in just over 10 seconds. Start bringing up some gear. A little bit more. We're on in three, two, one. Up, up. Let's get there. You're there. Hold on. Come on. Stay with me. We're working together here. Fifteen seconds, right through. Do not drop off. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Back it off. Easy gear. Nice high cadence. Slowing down that breath. eking out a recovery with just one and a half times your output effort. Short and hard. But you can recover enough to be able to get back up. With two to go, if you want to push over that MAP, go for it. But make sure you can hold it. You don't want to just touch it and fall back. 30 seconds. Nice and smooth. Remember, engage that core. A strong core makes for strong legs, strong cycling position. We're back on in 10 seconds. Find some gear. In five, three, two, one. Up, up. This is number four, MAP, preferred cadence, find it and hold it, MAP plus plus if you've got it in you, come on, we're almost there, just over 15 seconds, stay with it. Don't let that gear drop. Think about how strong you're getting. Five seconds. Two, one. Back it off. Three out of 10, 30%. One more to go. 
Let's maximize this recovery. Turn those legs over nice and fast. You're holding a nice position here. Even though we're recovering, we're not collapsing. So again, check what your power center's doing. Check what your arms are doing, your shoulders. Everything is focused on your power source. Your hip girdle, your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, your calves. We're on for this last 45 seconds in 15 seconds. So let's make this the strongest yet. Finding some gear. We're on in five seconds. Three, two, one. Up, up. Let's go. Come on. This is the last match. You don't need any more matches after this. Make it count. Come on. It's not supposed to be easy. You just get stronger. And that's where the fun is. Come on. 10 seconds. In three, two, one. Back it off. Minute 15. Let's get that recovery. Wow, wow, wow. That was a good one. You should be feeling your all four muscles in your quads and every other part of your legs. Pulling up with those hamstrings and calves for a nice smooth circle. Nice work. In another 30 seconds, we still have three minutes left. We're gonna do a nice easy cool down. As the day clears here in Vancouver. Super impressed with everyone. And I really hope someone who's planning to do the Tour de Vic wins that prize today. Or you will be if you weren't. Okay, let's bring our gear up to 50%. Nice high cadence still. Just putting a tiny bit more pressure back on the legs. We're gonna ride out the rest of this ride right here. Do try and be at 100 or 105 RPM. It can keep your gear a little bit lower. Tapping into those slow twitch fibers to round out this 30 minute set. Nice and smooth. Tour de Vic is a great event. We're hoping that all the events are happening this year. Tour de Vic has the advantage of offering several distances. So there's really no excuse not to participate. And it's a beautiful place to ride. If you haven't had a chance to ride in Victoria, it's very, maybe surprisingly rural, very hilly. You always get some wind. We're tapping on everything that we do here in these 30 minute sessions and in the live stream classes. So you'll be ready. All right, everyone. We're just coming down to the 835 mark. We're gonna wrap up for the day. Really great to see everyone on the live 
Zoom, and for everyone who's streaming us on YouTube. Thank you, see you tomorrow.